We're going to start off with some news you can use. Uh, this was an announcement made today here in California, uh, land of fruits and nuts. Um, you're not going to believe this, but maybe you will. Uh, this was an announcement from the governor's office this morning. Uh, the governor announced uh, the Imperial Emperor uh, Governor of California, Newsom, announced that the state of California is going to pick up the tab for all unpaid rental bills, past, present, and future. Unfricking believable. Um, some of the money has come from the federal government, so if that's the case, you guys can expect this to happen in other states besides uh, our land of fruits and nuts out here. Uh, but in California, we, for some reason, we ended up with more tax money than was expected last year. So this, and this is going to have to be approved by our legislature out here, um, but that's a rubber stamp for Newsom. Uh, so they're going to pay, literally, everybody's unpaid rent, um, past, present, and even going forward. And there's, there's no sunset clause on this at this point. In other words, there's no end. So all you have to do is claim that you were harmed from uh, COVID and the government will pay your landlord uh, your rent. Now, I'm not sure if it's gonna go directly to the landlord, it's gonna go to a third party who's gonna vet the landlord, but you know everybody is hailing this as good news out here, except for me. I don't think it's good news because they're spending all of our tax money instead of paying down debt uh, the excess tax proceeds that happened in the last 12 months beyond what they were. Now, these aren't really per se excess proceeds. This was beyond what they uh, expected to receive. Now, you know how this thing works. We gamed, uh, you know, our governor gamed the budget. And so they were saying they were only expecting, normally they expect this much taxes. And he said, okay, we're only expecting this much. And then this much came in. And so now we have an excess, right? It's BS. Uh, but expect this to happen in other states because we start these goofy trends out here and they're going to happen in other states. What is this going to mean for you guys? I mean, everybody always asks on this news you can use how it's going to affect your housing business. Um, it, it's going to do primarily one thing. It's going to stop the exodus of people from where they're living and the turnover of houses that was scheduled to begin. Remember, there are in the United States, there are 11 million people, 11 million units that are either behind on their mortgage or behind on their rent payments. If this comes to fruition nationally, and there's no reason to believe that it won't, um, you're gonna see almost none of those houses will come onto the market. So that's gonna create uh, a huge restriction of supply of houses, and it's going to create a demand like you can't believe because people still want to move there are still new bodies coming on to, uh, you know, the U.S. Uh, geographic footprint on a daily basis. Uh, you know, the population increases. There's just not enough housing stock to supply all that population. Um, normally, it would be like a shuffling of the deck chairs on the Titanic, but that's not what's happening. Uh, when this, this happens, the government clearly interferes with private business. Not that as a landlord, I'm you know, adverse to it. I mean, I think it's a, a great idea to help these people, but because it's got no sunset provision, in other words, it's not just till September 30th this year or something like that. Um, this is the, the creep of big brother into our lives on a permanent basis out here. And I, if you look back, there's uh, we've got some tape going back to February and January where I predicted that the government was going to plan a takeover of housing. They're going to, in other words, nationalize housing this is exactly the first step. Um, you know, this is the other shoe that has dropped on this deal. So um, short term, at least in California and probably in most states, because like I said, everybody's gonna look to California as um, you know, the, the ideal thing as to where you start, where you go, you're going to see housing prices shoot up, continue to shoot up. And so, you know, where it looks like there's little or no equity or in some of these markets around the country, prices are dropping, um, that's going to stop that slide of price dropping and, and increase. Everything is going to be worth much more money. Um, and uh, as Dawn has said, her concern is that will it truly help uh, those people who are in need or we do is enable people. And that was my next soapbox. I'm going to jump from this one to the next one. And 
what's going on out there is there is a tremendous amount of people who are not paying, not because they can't, just because there's a free opportunity to not make payments out there. And I believe it's the majority of these 11 million folks that are behind on rent slash mortgages. And so it is going to enable uh, people. It is, um, you know, it is going to also allow for the government because they're paying the bill, they're gonna step in and control all this stuff. So, you know, there's not a lot we can do um, short of a longer term solution, which is, you know, throw the suckers who are in office out and replace them with people who are, you know, more economically friendly. This, and the reason I predicted this was gonna happen because there's not gonna be anybody complaining. The landlords are happy, the renters are happy. People just don't, what they don't see is how it's going to affect the economy uh, down the road, which will actually affect everybody, not just people who are landlords or renters, but it'll affect everybody in the economy. So it's, uh, it is starting, it is happening. Um, I tell you to go someplace else besides the United States, but I don't think there's any place we can go. Uh, I like New Zealand, um, but you know, it's, it's a long ways to go anyway. And you have to like sheep if you're in New Zealand, they don't have cow. <laughs> it's, it's all sheep, all lamb over there. Anyway, um, that's my unfortunate news you can use.